Welcome back to Poor Man's Print. Like the bandana? Too flashy? Huh? So the demand for mask, bandanas, whatever they want to call it, has increased highly. Um, me, I don't wear them. <coughs> I got asthma. I'm going to show you how I print bandanas and sublimation. Stay tuned. And yes, I'm doing this very early in the morning because I live in Texas, uh, where it's hot as hell. It's so hot that my highly developed recording device, Android, <laughs> will actually shut down because it gets so hot. With me having a flash on, yeah, it's getting ready to get real hot. I spray a little bit of press wash on this. And wipe the excess ink off of this. Should be good. Next, cut on this hot a bath. Bit spicy. For my palette tack, I've been using this lately. Ecotec Super Tack. This couple drops, not much at all. Take you whatever you got, a card or whatever. Smear it on there nice and good. And I'm telling you, this stuff, I've only done it twice and it's still on there. So to activate it, I just roll it around, swing my flash around, and heat it up. And I'm telling you, this stuff is so sticky, it's crazy. I love it. The spray that I usually use, wherever the hell it's at, it gets all over the press. And man, I don't, I just don't like it, you know. And then you have to keep spraying it several times. But with the uh, Ecotech Super Tech, it's uh, this stuff is is nice. Really good. I highly suggest this if you don't want tax spray everywhere. And guys, just so you know, I'm not bullshitting. My my recording device is already too hot. So yeah, I have to do this. Okay, so first thing I do is grab corner to corner, match it up, match the other corner. Perfect, somewhat perfect, close to a triangle. Okay, next, I have this line right here that I drew on my palette, which gives me about one finger down from my image right here. One finger. And I have a center line right here also. He just kind of unfolded here. It has an X. I'm going to show you right here. It has an X. On the way they fold them. Most of them. But the ones I have. Have an X. So I actually put this X. On my line. And center the tip. Up with the center line. And then smooth everything out. So I got everything pretty much smoothed out. Uh, I usually take the lint roller. And get any of the excess. Lint. Threads. Whatever. It's going to mess your print up. And get it off. So I'm using Union Ink Bright Red. And yes, I upgraded from the butter knife. How about that? It's moving up in the world, people. Lay the ink in there. Nice and smooth. Smack it a little bit. You gotta smack it. <laughs> that should be good. Next. Flood this bad baby. I probably should have done a test, but it'll work. Oh shit! What the hell is going on here? This is why I need better equipment. Okay, since the camera fell, let's try this again. Everything nice and flooded, sort of. 
Come on down with this bad boy. Nice and firm grip. I'm gonna do two passes here. Just make sure I clear everything out. And let's see what happens. And there's the first hit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just flash it, hit it one more time because it's a little light, which I mean, I like it, but that's not the way it's intended to go. So I'm just gonna flash it a little bit. Check it, any ink? Nope, we're good. Hit it again. Second hit, I do not flood. Just gonna let it roll off the end. Two times, make sure I'm clearing all the ink. Let's see what she looks like. There we go. Not bad, not bad at all. Now I'm gonna cure it. Now the way I do it, it's been working. No washouts, everything's been perfect. Take the flash, stick it in there. Probably cut this fan off because it's blowing my heat everywhere. And I use my little heat, little heat gun there. And uh, I'm mostly shooting right here. I'm looking for about 330. It's gonna heat up a lot harder here. But I'm looking for around 3.30 here. And when I hit 3.30, she's done. And 3.30, done. There you go, guys. Not bad at all. Now let me put this camera down, knock out the second one, and we'll move on to sublimation. <laughs> For you gun enthusiast, I'm working on something new. 80% lower. Let's see if I can get better light here. 80% lower AR9, dedicated. And an upper that's also dedicated. It's gonna be one hell of a build. Also, I'm going with a 1911 pistol grip for the AR. Yeah, I can't wait to finish this bad boy. I'm still working. Still, still thinking on uh, what color I'm going to paint it. I don't, I don't know. Leave comments down below. What do you think? I, I like the battle worn, so any two colors. Or, I don't know, camo. It's going to be a home defense gun. Whatever. Leave comments. Leave, leave some comments. So what we got here is the Epson Workforce 7710 that has been converted to sublimation ink. Let's see if this lid comes off. There's your inks. And there's the system that we put in. Okay go upstairs and make an image there's the image it's gonna be printed out on regular white paper yes you can do sublimation on regular white paper oh almost forgot don't forget to flip your image <laughs> all right let's print it go downstairs there it is guys, print it out in a half tone that I have no idea what the number was, I forgot actually. <laughs> pan, pan, pan tone, excuse me wife, pan tone. So when you are sublimating on shirts, you need to rip the edges of the paper so that it doesn't press a line into the sugar. You hear that? So they say to rip the edges and make it irregular. I got your foot in the video. <laughs> Turbo! Turbo! What do you think of all this? 
Huh? What you think? Just throw it, look. What you think? What you think, Turbo? Get out my face. All right. All right, so I fold the image in half to get my center point. Center line. Center line. I've also pressed the t-shirt in half to get a center line on the t-shirt. So and, that way I can land my image. And what degrees do you press this at? 400 degrees for 60 seconds. Okay, and you put that on top of the shirt. Yes. You got anything under the shirt? Good, good catch. Yeah. So you always have to put. Can you always have to put a paper in the middle because the ink will bleed through to the other side. Yes, a poor man printing caught that mistake about to happen. I mean, I can't always be perfect. Right, right. I know. You are. You are perfect, babe. You're perfect. Yeah. So we got a piece of paper in the shirt. Now we put the image on top of the shirt. We center the image up. It's a big image, it's so a big... it's a little difficult to know where you're at because it's such a big image. Yeah, it's 13 inches. I'm not gonna lie to you, when you so when you um, sublimate stuff, you're gonna waste a lot of paper. Mm. Because you have to have a paper in the middle, you have to put paper on the top. Get the paper everywhere, and you can't reuse the paper because it gets pink. Trust me, I know that. <laughs> I made a few mistakes. All right, 400 degrees for 60 seconds. There we go, guys. So, oh, see the ink on the paper? Yep. You can't reuse it. Nope. There it is. Looks now, pretty good. Now I hope it's all uh, centered. Regular white paper. Then she she shakes <laughs> it all out, which I'm pretty much getting on the video here. <laughs> there you go, guys. Out of print on some bandanas and a little bit of sublimation. So uh, yeah. Let's go drink some beer and shoot some guns. 